chain rule for differentiation allows one to differentiate functions of functions. But what does that mean, and how do we do it in practice? Well, normally we have a function y of some variable x. We could denote the fact that y depends on x by writing y brackets x. But what if instead y depends on some variable, say u, which in turn depends on x? We could denote by writing y brackets u brackets x. So u is a function of x and y is a function of u. Note, if y depends on u and u depends on x, then y also depends on x. Hence, we can differentiate y with respect to x. We can do this using the following formula. When y is a function of u, which is a function of x, dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx. This may all seem a little confusing, so let's try a couple of examples to see what it means. In our first example, we will just try to differentiate y is equal to sine 3x. Now we know how to differentiate sine x, but how does this 3 change things? Well, let's introduce a new variable u equal to 3x, then clearly y equals sine of u. So we have illustrated how y is a function of a function, that is, y is a function of u, which is a function of x. Hence we can differentiate y using the formula at the top of the screen. We'll need to calculate the two derivatives involved, so dy by du is equal to cos u, and du by dx is equal to 3. Hence, dy by dx is equal to cos u times 3. Once we've calculated the derivative, it's important we change the temporary variable u we introduced back to the original variable x. So this equals 3 cos 3x. So hopefully, you now see the general idea. You substitute part of the variable y for a new variable u, and in doing so, you change y into something you can differentiate. So long as u is also something you can differentiate, you should now be able to calculate the derivative. Let's now do a slightly trickier example. Let's take y equals ln of 3x squared plus 4 cos x. We have no way of differentiating this directly, but hopefully we can use the chain rule. We start by noting that y equals ln of u, where u is equal to 3x squared plus 4 cos x. Then dy by du equals 1 over u, which is something we discussed in a previous video. du by dx is also something quite straightforward to calculate, since we know how to differentiate powers of x and the cosine function. So we get 6x minus 4 sine x. So we've taken the complicated function that we couldn't differentiate directly and turned it into functions that we can differentiate. And now we can calculate dy by dx. It's just 1 over u times 6x minus 4 sine x. Let's now change this u back to x and tidy things up a bit. So this equals 6x minus 4 sine x over 3x squared plus 4 cos x. This is our final answer. Thank you.